When I was a child, the only thing that would get me to sleep was my parents reading me the takeaway menu from our local Chinese restaurant, The Flying Chopstick. <laughs> David's too. <laughs> at what age was this? I'd say it kicked off at seven and probably lasted about a year. Was it read out in any type of accent? No. Well, my Do, dad... Well, would you say any type? Any type there's one, accent, there's one specific yeah. one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, you, if they really had a French yeah, accent, it'd be nice. Yeah. It's quite surreal, isn't it? But I'll no, go no. with it. My, d my dad is half Polish, half Lithuanian, so it had a sort of Eastern European tinge. Could you give us a kind of a, a little rendition? So it would be something along the lines of... Um, this will be interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah. be something like... We'll just separate ourselves from <laughs> the, uh, the person doing yeah. the routine. You, you don't, you don't want to be in the clip when it comes on the news, yeah. do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Dad would say, for example, um, black bean with um, chop suey, something like that. <laughs> black bean. Was your dad the fella from Sesame Street? <laughs> yeah, one and yeah. one pork balls. <laughs> <laughs> Two lovely pork balls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, light, light, lychee, lychee for the end of, of the menu. Lychee, that's yeah, I know, I know that. They, they, the flying chopstick, they just serve a single lychee, don't they? Yeah. Lychee. Yeah. Lychee. Yeah, it was the staple. It. It, was the, it was the 70s. Things were a little bit sparse then. It was, it was um, Wilson's, you know, things are hard. I can't remember his speech, but you know the one I mean. Things are terrible. Wilson's things are hard. <laughs> Wilson's yeah. things are hard. Harold Wilson, things are hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've only got yeah. lychees. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> How far into the menu would you drift off? That's a very good question. That's why I asked it. Yeah. <laughs> My eye would be sort of fully open, like that. A little bit like... Um, one, just one eye open. One eye open, always right. looking, always just checking. And then I would say, by the end of the first page, the eye would be down. So you used to so go to sleep page. half a face at a time? <laughs> Can you remember the first time that this happened? It would have been... Oh, I think it was on a Friday night. Mum and Dad would have been entertaining, mm -hmm. and I laughed a lot and then fell asleep. So what do you think, then? David, hey, how is this striking you? Uh, it, the, the detail... The fact that she knew straight away what day it was on a Friday night... I don't remember what, what day it was when you were seven. Oh, I, I can't did. remember last week. I'll get punched in the head for a living, but... <laughs> 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 But David, they did it a lot. There was rep there was repetition. They did it a lot. Repetition. Eh? Repetition. So I knew yeah. the menu back to front because they did. It they had to do it so often. Well, that's just Chinese. It would be that way, anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ramesh, what do you think, David? Uh, I, I think it. I, no, I don't buy it. David, what, that's just, what, two Davids. We'll call you the, the haymaker and the librarian. What? <laughs> What are you thinking, David? <laughs> well, I think I don't believe it. Do you realise? I like the system you've got there. We're going to call you the haymaker and the librarian. So, what do you think, David? <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't think she's at the age of seven. Yeah. I think a seven-year-old child will require a coherent story. All right. So you're saying it's a lie. Well, let's find out, Mel. Truth or lie? The story was in fact a lie. <laughs> So please welcome this week's special guest, Sid. <laughs> so, Chris Tarrant, what is Sid to you? This is my dentist, Sid, and I had to drive her to A and E after biting her finger during a checkup. <laughs> right, Mel, could you explain how you know Sid? This is Sid. We once posed as members of an orchestra to gain backstage access to meet our idol. Finally, David, what is your relationship with Sid? Um, this is Sid. Uh, last year... <laughs> Sorry. I just... There's something about you. I don't think you know any women or anyone called Sid. <laughs> In which case, you'll be saying that it's a lie. Correct. Uh, this is Sid. Lie. <laughs> this is Sid. Last year, she rescued me when a seaside donkey went haywire with, <laughs> with me on its back. Can I just say, 
And we trapped my earlier comment. <laughs> True. <laughs> so, there we have it. Uh, Chris's disgruntled dentist, Mel's orchestral imposter, or David's seaside saviour. Lee, where do you want to start? Well, should we start? Let's start with Chris. What was she doing that made you bite down so hard? <laughs> She's actually a very accomplished dentist. Her real name is Sydney, Sydney Matthews. She is the junior partner in a company called Matthews and Pretty in Weybridge in Surrey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are Sorry, top her real dentists. name is Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. Sydney. Girl's name Sydney. I, I couldn't understand what he was saying, but now someone's shouted it really loudly in Welsh. It's a lot clearer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, sorry, Chris, say it again. I fix up to go and have a temporary crown taken out and put a, the proper one in. Oh, yeah. Coronation, um, was it? <laughs> You're getting above yourself, Tarrant. <laughs> so she starts doing this little bit of drilling, and of course you've got so much drilling in your mouth. I'm going, it really hurts, I want to unattack it. And she's, what? At which point I bit her finger, in fact two fingers, really quite badly. <laughs> and she is pouring blood. And then does Sid treated you since? No, but she's due to in about three months, so I'm trying to be quite nice to her. Right, do you want to, to move on to another okay. suspect? Mm -hmm. David, what, what did it do, the donkey? It ran suddenly in one direction with me on its back. No. Yes. Where were you? I, I bet he I says Blackpool. The... <laughs> no, I was Where on the beach. It was in Norfolk. And a beach in Norfolk. Do you know which mm. beach? I know Norfolk quite well. Which, which beach in Norfolk was it? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was uh, Great Yarmouth. When was this? It's about... It was last year. Do okay. they let adults ride donkeys? Good question. Ask him. Yes, they, they do. They do, they did. I got on the donkey, it went haywire. What? what? You what? saying I'm a liar? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly the donkey you. went haywire and Sid rescued me. But what scared the donkey? Yeah, well, I can answer that. What, what scared... <laughs> you haven't explained why you were on the donkey. Um, when I look at you, I don't think donkey. I well, think Mel the, does. The <laughs> aim was. <laughs> One child of uh, some friends of mine wanted to have a donkey ride and then sort of was a bit nervous of the donkey ride. And, and I said, well, I'd have a donkey ride to sort of demonstrate that it was, you know, <laughs> fine and oh, safe. Oh, and, so it was a disaster. It was a disaster. Yeah. It was an absolute yeah. it was a disaster. It was a very, very sad day. Did you have to pay for the ride? Uh, I think so, yeah. Do you remember roughly what, what that was? I think, it, I, I think oh. roughly about a thousand pounds. I have been less, less than a thousand, certainly not a million, it, would it be not a million say, pounds. It... And it wasn't like 4p. <laughs> David, how did Sid rescue you? She had a, a geographical advantage on the donkey, because mm -hmm. I don't think, I'm not, I don't think I'm being rude to Sid to say that she probably couldn't have matched this crazed beast for speed. <laughs> <laughs> she was over where the donkey was headed, sort of near there, and was able to intercept and grab the bit of string that's attached to a donkey's face. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it's like having it's Zara like... Phillips with us, isn't it? Yeah. It really you is. have literally never seen a donkey in your life. <laughs> right, what about, what about Mel, then? Just remind us again of your story. This is Sid. Yeah. And we once posed as uh, members of an orchestra yeah. mm -hmm. to, to meet our idol. Right. Who, who's the idol, just for fun? Leslie Judd, the, um, <laughs> the uh, ex-Blue Peter presenter. You don't need to tell me who Leslie Judd is. <laughs> so, does Leslie Judd also play in an orchestra? Not that I know of. What, what was she doing there? What was she then? doing there? She was hosting the event. Where was it? It was in Oxford Town Hall. And you were how old? 16. You say you posed we, I mean, as, as orchestra yeah. members. How did you go and buy an instrument? We borrowed from a friend, uh, funnily enough, a cello case. Well, that's all you'd need, cos one of you gets in it. Yeah. <laughs> So hang on, when you were 16, I'm just thinking this through. Leslie Judd, as we all know, is a Blue Peter presenter back in the glorious uh, the heyday Fab Four. of the Fab Blue Four. Peter. Exactly. No, when, it's Purvis when, Singleton Judd. When yeah. grown-ups used to... <laughs> yeah. When grown-ups used to host exactly. Blue Peter. Yeah. Uh, great times. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did it work? We got past security. I'm not sure about this security, but just to be honest with you. Yeah. I can't imagine Oxford a meeting. Town Hall. Oxford Town Hall, where they're going, here we got on next week. <laughs> Leslie Judd is hosting an orchestra. We're going to need some security. <laughs>
Did she sign anything for you? She did, yep. I had a blue Peter annual. Yeah. I think Leslie was in circus gear on the front. I've got that one. Oh, that's... Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we need an answer, so... What are you going to say? I think it's Chris. You think Chris because it's a lady? Because more importantly, yeah. looks like she could be a very good dentist. No, you see, I have to disagree. I disagree. If we're going by looks alone, I'd say she's more likely to have manhandled a donkey. <laughs> Can we? I think she looks like a really lovely friend of Mel's. We need an answer, so... Alex mm. thinks it's Chris. Chris. Are you sticking with that? I'm you... sticking 100%. And me, presumably, you think me. <laughs> Despite my real gut reaction that it's David, <laughs> I would say, <laughs> of the two, we will go with Mel. Ah! Or will we go with Chris? <laughs> Split the difference. Me! <laughs> Go on, I'm saying Mel. You're saying uh, Mel. OK, so, Sid, would you like to reveal your true identity? Uh, my name is Sid, and Mel and I posed as members no. of an orchestra <laughs> in order to meet our idol. Yes. Sid and Mel did once pose as members of an orchestra in order to get backstage and meet Leslie Judd. Thank you very much, Sid. I once had a snog with one of the people here on Would I Lie to You Tonight. Whoa! <laughs> one of us six. Yeah, six. <laughs> you... Hang on a minute, I'm here as well. Yeah, six. Yeah, you're one of She didn't snog herself. That's true, that's true, that's true. That's true. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, my word. I think my, my, my poor grasp of mathematics has never been more cruelly exposed. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of those six people... You, why am I saying one of the six? I know it wasn't me. One of them five... Was no. it you? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, 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 I'm Spartacus. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I, I generally... Very were, all, I, awkward if all six of us have smoked. <laughs> <laughs> but she could only remember one. <laughs> if it's true, will the person remember, or is it like a, a drunken thing, or...? I don't know if they will remember. This is getting awkward. If this is true, oh. this is going to be very awkward. I don't so know. So, how many years ago? I think it was in, uh, 98. So... 15 years ago. Just the snog? Yeah. Oh, Word. it's going to be David at university, isn't it? Why, did they go to university together? They're both Cambridge, aren't they? We did. Yes. And were you but... in the same... No, but David is quite a lot, quite a lot younger than me, so... Uh, but were you still hanging it... around the university? <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> trying, to, trying to prey on freshers in freshers' <laughs> week. <laughs> What you haven't said yet, Mel, is you haven't really painted a lovely picture for us of, of the circumstances, where you yeah. were. Yep. Just talk us through that. It was a works do. Uh, not me. I've never worked in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it was a works do, and everyone had been working very, very hard. It was, a, it was a long series, and it was the end of term party. Stop end of looking series at me, parties. Mel. <laughs> <laughs> the what was the, what was the series? Uh, it the was the England rugby team. <laughs> <laughs> was that a test series? <laughs> uh, it, was a, it was a show back in the late 90s. Was uh, it Late we, Lunch? It was called Late Lunch. So lunch the show you did Late Lunch, lunch. lunch, was the person you kissed a guest on the show or were they a regular on it? Or? No, Ryan? we were colleagues. This it was, is a totally new type of round. This, this is... <laughs> You stop it... trying to work out whether it's true or not. Just who oh, it, it was. <laughs> who was it? <laughs> Wait, who was it that you kissed? <clears throat> was it Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me when you kissed him he didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> who was it that you kissed? Dermot. You know? It was Dermot. Dermot? It was Dermot. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, this, is, this is a weird one now, because if it's not true, poor Dermot now has got to answer all these questions. 
I don't think you're allowed to question oh. other panellists. Oh, well, this it's is not on. his car. Uh, no, no, we're in new territory. This has never happened before. Rob, my proclamation is thus. You can quiz O'Leary. <laughs> However, you. Oh. he doesn't have to answer unless he so chooses. Well, oh. to be fair, that's true with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We cannot be legally required to speak. If you Did want you to make people to... talk when they don't want to, you have to waterboard them. <laughs> I'm happy to waterboard him if you want to. <laughs> Mel, what yes. was Dermot doing in this show? Dermot was the um, guy responsible for getting the audience in. Has Dermot said if he remembers this? Dermot, uh, do you remember this? That would, that would scupper my team's chance. I can't answer that. Yeah, oh, that's under. You mean no. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you, were, you were working on... I was working on Lila. What was your position? I was, uh, well, I was sort of audience researcher, so... Oh, that's Andy, just what she just said, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> in 1998, were you in a relationship, or was it OK to push you on this? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you said at the time, Dermot, that you weren't in a relationship. Oh, well, he can't have been then. Yeah. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to say then, uh, Lee? What are you thinking? That's an interesting one, this, isn't it? What do you think? think? Oh, it feels plausible. like... Do you think? It's plausible. It is plausible, it's definitely plausible. I just it's... think O'Leary's been too kind of reticent on the details and the facts. Yeah, no. but is he, he could be awkward because he doesn't remember, or he remembers very well and he's trying to play for his team. Gentleman doesn't tell. <laughs> I think it's a lie. You think it's a lie? Based on O'Leary. Matt, what, what are you thinking? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I don't think the dates fit. Lie. Well, go with lie, then. You're saying it's a I, lie? I think it might be true, but I'm going with my team and okay. saying lie. Mel, it was a wonderful, wonderful tale. Was it true or were you telling a lie? Well, Rob, gents, Dermot, <laughs> I was telling the truth. Oh! <laughs> Dermot, everything that Mel said was true. A hundred percent bona fide. <laughs> yes, it's true. Mel did have a snog with Dermot O'Leary. So please welcome this week's special guest, Shailene. <laughs> so, we will begin with uh, Dermot. Dermot, what is Shailene to you? This is Shailene, and I asked Shailene out 156 times. Uh, Mel, how do you know Shailene? This is Shailene. Um, and when we were kids, I cut her hair to plump up the stuffing in my teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Finally, David I Mitchell. I want that to be true. I want that yeah, to be that's true. amazing. How do you know Shailene, David? <laughs> this is Shailene. Uh, she is the swimming pool lifeguard who talked me into letting go of the diving board I was clinging to. <laughs> After I panicked mid boing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there we have it. It's, uh, is it Dermot's romance rejector, Mel's teddy stuffing supplier, or David's diving board <laughs> saviour? Lee, right. where do you want to start? Wow, well, where do we start with that one? Dermot. <laughs> w when was this? I was, I'd have been probably. 14, uh, and Shailene was a year younger than me. How did you do it? Was it all face to face? Yep. In yeah. as, as opposed to what? We, we like went to. Um, sort of, Who's 14? We, oh, sorry. Do you know, before. Gone. before <laughs> it was all different. Did you in, like... the old, in the old days, what we used to do was just press our faces against the bathroom window and shout. <laughs> Dermot, just to be clear, how, how many times did you ask her out? 156. In, in, like, in like how many sittings? <laughs> Over, probably over the course of about 18 months. 18 months. <laughs> why, why did you count them? Yeah. Because it takes 156 times for him to know she's not interested. <laughs> <laughs> After a while, it became, I suppose, it became like almost like a rite of passage. Shailene lived in, <laughs> in, uh, in, in a different village to the village I grew up in. Which village was this? Uh, I grew up in a village called Mark's Tay, and Shailene lived in Great Tay. Uh, normally... Where was this? Mordor? <laughs> <laughs> And, and Shailene went to the same youth club as me. Youth club? Mm. Let's get him more rock and roll, this story. <laughs> uh, Shailene was the only girl in the village who had black hair. And, uh... Have you, have you looked to your left? <laughs> 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 Please made this realistic. Yeah. <laughs> 
She had black hair. She had black hair, all in kind of a, a lovely sort of 80s Madonna style quiff. So the first time you asked her out, she said no. How long did you leave it to the second time? The next week. So it was every week you were doing it? Yeah. Every week, 156 some, weeks, 18 months. Twice that adds up. Sometimes twice a week. <laughs> Rob's thinking it does, but it doesn't. <laughs> Sometimes like twice a week, sometimes twice in the same night. Oh, go on, go on. So, out, you know. when it got to 100, did you not think, probably not going to happen? Thought I'm still in. Keep batting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lee, who, who else would you like to quiz? Who should we go with next? Mel. OK, so, how old were you? When the hair cutting happened. When, when, yes, obviously, I don't yeah. mean... Oh, sorry. No, how old were you uh, on your 12th birthday? <laughs> <laughs> so, Shailene's older sister, Charlotte, is a good friend of mine. Shailene and Charlotte? Yes, Shailene and Charlotte. Well, it was a dad, Sh Sh Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> Shailene and Charlotte um, came over to ours to do a sleepover. We had a bunk bed and I wanted her to sleep on the top bunk. Yeah, this is the bit, you see. <laughs> because we had a game in our house whereby if you slept on the top bunk, you had to drape your hair over the side yeah. of... Like bunk. Rapunzel. <laughs> Say what, Dermot? I'm glad you didn't go back to hers, man. <laughs> you just said, you said, no point, my hair's too short. She went, don't worry, use something else. <laughs> <laughs> go on. I had a secret plan with Shailene. Oh. I wanted her to fall asleep on the top bunk so that I could cut her beautiful hair. Now, I didn't cut that much. Right. How much did you cut? That that's a lot of her. So, having cut this hair off, yes. what did you do with it? So, I had this lovely, beloved teddy bear patch and uh, had a bit of a hole in it. What? I don't remember exactly where. Where? Shoulder down to mid arm. How did the so, hole start? Did you make the hole? Just love. Just love. Is that That's what you call love? Ripping mind. off a man's arm? <laughs> Dermot. Uh, Lee, what about David? David. Um, remind us again of this utter uh, truth. Um, <laughs> Shailene is the swimming pool lifeguard oh, who yeah. taught me down when I was clasping on to a diving board. You're actually it. hanging mm. off it. Yeah, I had, oh. like, my mm. arms around it like that, and it was at head height. But how did you get to that position? <laughs> I was considering jumping off the diving board, and I remained indecisive too long in the process. Right. And at the last minute, you but went, but panicked I, and stopped. Exactly. And, and, of so, course, and I sort of you weren't slid used... off it and grabbed it that. and then was left there dangling. And had you gone to the pool specifically to dive, or had you gone with a bunch of mates and you were laughing <laughs> around, bombing, <laughs> heavy petting, all the things just... that we're not supposed to do, but I, if I know you, the yeah. rebel that you are, <laughs> you'd have been doing them. It was one of my regular late-night music parties in the municipal baths. <laughs> How old were you? It was recently. It was... <laughs> How recently? It was just about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, um, it was last autumn. I'd have thought if David Mitchell had been hanging off a diving board, mm. someone would have taken a photo and tweeted that. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to have your mobile pool. phones you in swimming pools. Your... <laughs> Come the advent of the aquaphone, my water sports days are over. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever dived in off a diving board headfirst at that point? No, and I certainly wasn't planning on doing this headfirst. Oh, you were going to go feet first? Absolutely. And, uh, so you, you jumped... You, <laughs> you, you started... I was thinking of this programme, and I thought, well, I can lose up to about there and it'll be fine. <laughs> just, you know, they could prop the remnant on a bar stool, <laughs> and I can still do the job. So I thought, I'll go in with the non-panel show end first. <laughs> As you've leapt off, at that point you think, I'm going in, change your mind, spin Cut. in the air, grab the board and land and just do that. Because <laughs> I think that's a ten. I think <laughs> it's a ten that. It was the moment of indecision that changed, made you stumble. changed how so, I... I mean, I, I can't entirely... Did, did it, you... It's bizarre, considering it happened to me. <laughs> but I can't entirely visualise it. <laughs> so, uh, what, what are you thinking, Lee? I'm th I want to know exactly how Shailene talked down David. She said, are you all right? Which, you know, wasn't the best question <laughs> in the world. But, uh, she's cle she's clearly trained. Yeah. <laughs> what did, what did you say? I 
think I did. I something. I, oh, yeah, sorry, I slipped. Um, sorry, I chill. slipped. <laughs> <laughs> One minute you're panicking, and then oh, sorry, I slipped. Forgive me. <laughs> I, uh, she even, stood at the de- side. even in near death situations, you're what middle class. <laughs> 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 Could you fetch my cravat? It appears to have wafted away. <laughs> I didn't say sorry I slipped in a suave tone. <laughs> but I did say sorry because it's very deeply ingrained in me to apologise at almost any occasion. So how did you say it then if you didn't say it in a suave Sorry way? I slipped! Sorry, sorry I slipped! Like oh. that. <laughs> You were quite panicked. I was quite panicked. <laughs> what happened then? What did she say? She said, it's all right, stay calm. Too late. I screamed. <laughs> Where is she? She's on the floor. She's on up top. She has got on the diving board. Well, she's oh, giving it a little wobble, yeah? <laughs> she's giving it a little wobble. She's not got to uh, the boingy end. Uh, she's do you mind bo- if I have a little skip whilst we're doing this? <laughs> she just... She, it was only after a few minutes had passed that she threatened to... Boing me off. <laughs> wow! Well, I'll tell you what, these, these municipal swimming pools. Do you know what? I would say that constitutes heavy petting. <laughs> so you were hanging on for a few minutes? No, not really for a few. I think for about four or five minutes. Four or five minutes? Four or five minutes. Oh, no, right. The eagle eyed lifeguard. <laughs> <laughs> she just. She... Oh, I wish I could use my whistle. <laughs> How did she make you go from, I don't want to let go, to let <sighs> go? What kind of words did you use? It's OK, just drop in. I, you know, I promise you won't just hit the bottom. Just drop in! <laughs> <laughs> I'm around 3 o'clock from Sticks on Thursday. <laughs> she just Do you said, have Earl Grey ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to drop in any time you like. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, hang it up. But what does yeah. she say to make you let go? Um, oh. I think it's fine. You won't hurt yourself. <laughs> she said, "This happens a lot." Uh. <laughs> so if you come in here half an hour earlier, there'd be three of you on three of the boards. <laughs> Only just cleared the last backlog. <laughs> okay, so Lee, we we need an answer. Uh, is oh. Shailene Dermot's oh. romance rejector, oh. Mel's Teddy stuffing supplier, <laughs> or David's diving board saviour? What do you think? David has, I mean, has uh, no idea. To hang on to something for four or five minutes. That's a long, that that's a long time long to hang on. Time. You couldn't hang on that long. Dermot said she had black hair. <laughs> 156. There's a lot, isn't it? Lot, and it's a very specific yeah, it's number. Too I think Mel. It's got to be Mel. Mel. You think Mel had emotion and feeling. You say Mel. I would I go Mel. Mel. I'll go with the team and say Mel. You're all. You're all in agreement. Okay. Shailene, please reveal your true identity. Hi, I'm Shailene, and Derma asked me out a hundred and fifty. <laughs> Thank you, Shailene. Thank you very much. I once licked David Bowie's cake just to be close to him. <laughs> David. Now, I would have thought that was not a good way of being close to him, but that was a way of being forcibly removed from his presence. <laughs> so how did licking his cake bring you close to him? Right, so, um, it was the 1980s. I believe it was the year of the Glass Spider tour. Yeah. I was working... <laughs> Waitress in a cocktail, in a cocktail yeah, bar. Yeah. <laughs> no. Not a Bowie song. Uh, yeah, I was going to yeah, say, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm no. no expert, but that's not one of his. <laughs> that, that much is true. Right. <laughs> Thank you. And so, Mel, if you yes. were working as a waitress. It wasn't a cocktail bar, it was a cappuccino bar, because it right. was the 80s. So, I was working as a waitress in a cappuccino bar. <laughs> Hang on, was um, cappuccino popular in the 80s? Let's get this. Oh. Yeah, they came in in the 80s, didn't they? They arrived in Port Talbot a week last <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> anyway, I'm not quite uh, good looking enough, slash, slim enough to be serving at tables. Oh, okay. right. So did they a... tell you this? Did they, did they say, I'm sorry, love, you, I'm sorry. No. I can't have you serving the customers, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have Just to hide you around the back yes. making the froth. No, pretty, <laughs> pr- pretty much. I was, I was a washer-upper 
in oh. aforementioned cappuccino bar. Now, massive excitement one day. I'm in the back doing the washing up. The word is spreading like wildfire. Bowie's in, Bowie's in, Bowie's in. I saw him in profile sitting How did you see him from at the, the cappuccino bar because I could look yeah. through right. the door. You were allowed. <laughs> Occasionally. And all the customers went. <laughs> <laughs> She was, was grabbed back in again and yeah. managed <laughs> Get back in the <laughs> truck and sprinkles pit! So, Bowie had ordered, let's imagine, I think it was something like a sort of uh, a hot chocolate fudge slice, please, or something like that. Can we get on to the licking? Let's yeah. get on to the licking. <laughs> it's like Friday night in my house. <laughs> I thought, huh? I'm not going to get to say hello to him because I'm not allowed to go out front and serve the man. Huh? So what can I do just to feel that I have entered him oh my God. in some way? Oh, my <laughs> God. Not, not, I mean, just... Yes, that some of your him. DNA I'm part has of him. been ingested by the great man. Well, what sort of lick? With, with, bearing in mind that this is very much a family show, do the lick for us. Now. Plate. Yeah. Slice. Yeah. It would have been... I'll just try and get back in the zone. Um, yeah. It would have just been a... <laughs> like a little, right. like so a it's just a little bit. That's like not what I cat. imagined, actually. Oh. I, thought, I thought you would go up and down it a couple of times. No. And it was just a... Just a little a just polite a, just lick. Just a touch. It was, it was full of homage and reverence for the great man. And, and then, obviously, it went out and I never saw him again. It wasn't long after that. He was hospitalised. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David, what are you thinking? Could this be um, true? It, well, it could be true, but... Uh, the, 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 you know, she started off as a waitress, then she became, you know... A washer-upper. A washer-upper. Yes. I think it sounds so absurd, and she's been so random, that I think there's an element of truth to it, personally. So what are you going to say, David? Is it truth or is it a lie? Well, one or the other. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think, on balance, it's a lie. You're going to say a lie? So, Mel, licking David Bowie's cake, is it true or was it a lie? It is a great fact. True! What? Oh. Oh. Yes, it's true. And Mel did lick David Bowie's cake so she could feel closer to him.